Did you just join the Amazon affiliate program and you're not sure where to find your links or how to embed them into your WordPress blog and earn money from purchases made by your audience? Here's how. For those of you who don't know me, hello, my name is Anna and I'm the blogger behind the She Approach and this is a channel where I share blogging tech tutorials to help you get unstuck and get back to what really matters. Blogging smarter, increasing your web traffic and boosting your passive income, which are all topics that I cover in great detail on my blog, thesheapproach.com as well. The Amazon Affiliate Program is a great opportunity for bloggers, content creators, and anyone who has an online presence to share products that they love and earn money from it. Their entire program is pretty simple to use and their mission is simple. You recommend products, you earn commissions based off them. And in this post, I want to quickly show you how you can embed your unique affiliate links onto your WordPress post, both in images like this one and anchored by text like you see here when i mentioned the product i link to it people click on it they get taken to amazon for it keep in mind that if you're not already part of the amazon affiliate program you'll want to sign up for that separately and i will link to an article below walking you through the process of signing up and with more information and tutorials I also update the article um, way more than I can update videos. So if you want news on the best practices to be an Amazon affiliate and make money with them, be sure to check out the full article on my blog. But in this video, I want to quickly show you how to find and embed your Amazon affiliate links. So first things first, I want you to go to Amazon Associates, go to the website and make sure if you don't have an account, sign up for it. And if you do have an account, just sign in. It's very important. So we're going to quickly sign in. And once you sign in, you literally just have to open a new tab and go to Amazon. And Amazon will instantly recognize that you're an affiliate for them and they will show you this Amazon site stripe right here that makes it so easy to grab the links. So all you have to do from this point is to find the product that you want to recommend. Whether this is a book or a mug or anything that Amazon has to sell, all you have to do is go to the product page and you will see the side stripe. Look in the left side corner for the link, the image, or the text and image. I only use the text and the image, so I'm going to show you how to display those and just use them in your content. Let's start with the easy stuff, right? Just the affiliate link that will take you to this, which is, uh, if you haven't noticed, my Amazon published book. You simply have to go to text and they generate a link for you automatically. You'll see that this is tracked for you specifically, so that's why you can just grab the link from the tab. You have to generate a unique affiliate link where your code is embedded in it. So you can choose to kind of copy the short link or the full link. And it doesn't really matter which one it is. Both of them will be tracked uh, for social media. It's usually better to use a short link, um, whether you're a YouTuber and you want to have the Amazon affiliate links in your description or the, the links themselves will be visible. It's usually easier to just grab the short link and make it look pretty. For everything else, you can grab the full link as well. For blog content specifically, I usually just copy the full link, but it's mainly personal preference. So go ahead, literally copy the link embedded and go to your blog, website, wherever you want to embed it. So I want you to go in the back end of WordPress and find where in your content you want to link to it. So let's take, for example, this article and let's say in the beginning, I want to rant, um, I want to link to the best laptop. You literally write it out like you would any blog post, select what you want to link to. I usually like to make this bold. I add the link in here, paste it, make sure it's properly inputted. And then I click on it again to make sure that it opens in a new tab and also that is marked as sponsored. This is super important for affiliate links in general because Google knows you've been paid or you will be paid to input those links there. And also just for user experience, you want the link to open in a new tab so that they don't lose their place when they're in your article. You'll see that this was automatically displayed once I saved the article. So you can literally see here it's a clickable link that takes people to Amazon. Also, if you happen to have an Amazon UK account, you can grab the UK link instead. You'll see you have that banner option. But I really recommend just using the Amazon.com links and setting up the one link account, which I can make a separate video of if you're interested. But basically, you saw that I grabbed the Amazon.com link. And because I'm in the UK and my computer recognizes that I as a potential blog reader and in the UK, when I clicked on the affiliate link, it took me to Amazon UK um, and the same product there. 
So it's just a really great way to monetize your international traffic. Um, again, I can make a separate video on it if you're interested, but if you want to kind of figure it out for yourself, if you go just tools and one link, they'll walk you through what you need to do from there on. So you grab a text link and you know where to find them and you know how to use them in your blog content. How about an image? So for example, in my article, I wanted to display visually what the product is about. And this just happens to be two columns with two different images where I was talking about the products. You'll see that I, ha I usually like to have a combination of both the image and the text link in there just because um, it gives me more opportunities for my blog readers to click on those affiliate links. So if you want to embed uh, images into your article, all you have to do is go back to Amazon, find the product that you want to link to. Literally, you can link on pretty much everything. It's very rare that Amazon will let you know, oh, this product isn't applicable, but usually 99.9% .9 of the products you can link to. So let's say I want to link to these funny coffee mugs. And I just want to use the image in my article to make it better. So what you need to do is the same thing. Go to the left side corner, go click on image. I usually like to click on large because the quality is the best and then you can kind of um, make the image smaller or bigger depending on where in the article you link to it. And you'll see that they generate these uh, HTML code. Copy that, go back to your WordPress blog wherever you wanna include it. And there's a couple of ways to do that. So I'm using the newest version um, of WooCommerce. This is the Gutenberg editor. So if you have something similar, you can literally click on plus HTML, custom HTML, and paste that code in. It's gonna look funky, but when you move to preview, you'll see that they will add the image. So you'll see here they added the image. It looks great. And most importantly of all, it's clickable. So if people click on the image rather than your text, they will still be taken to Amazon via your affiliate link, which is already embedded in it. If you want to do something like um, an image with text next to it, there are a couple ways to do that in WordPress. And I will quickly show you just because for user experience, I don't usually like to put an image just because in a roundup post, I don't, I don't want to leave a bunch of empty space. So I do that and I make it look way prettier, which makes it easier for people to scroll by and find the products that they like in my article. So like I said, there are a couple of ways to do that. One of them is to add a block of the simple editor. So if you just click classic block, you'll see it'll take you to the old WordPress way of organizing things. And this is also going to be helpful if you just so happen to still use that old version of WordPress. All you have to do is add this classic editor, go to settings, click edit as HTML, paste in once again the code, go back to edit visually, and it will include the image here. Then you can basically start writing anything you want in the post and then move the text and space it accordingly so you can make it centered you can even wrap the text um, around to the left or the right of your image. And you'll see that this is gonna look something like this. So now text will be wrapped around it, making it so much easier for you to add multiple products to the same WordPress post. And the last way you can do that is kind of replicate what I've did here with the columns. So going back to your WordPress post. So to add those columns, you simply go to Plus, I usually start typing in columns, choose columns, choose two or three, depending how many products you want to display one next to each other, and then repeat the process and add a custom HTML in each one, simply going back and forth between um, the image setting in Amazon, copying the code for each, and then displaying it onto your WordPress site like so. So you'll be able to have a bunch of options to display your Amazon affiliate links in there. Keep in mind that once you've added affiliate links of any kind, especially Amazon to your articles, then you need to have an affiliate disclosure on there. And I will link to my article about how to properly disclose your affiliate links. And then you'll have an example that you can copy paste from there to include in your blog post but it's very important and Amazon really frowns upon associates who don't include that disclosure. So make sure you do everything by the book. Amazon can be a great earner and you do earn a commission not only for the products that you link to, but for every single product that people buy um, after they click through your link. Thank you once again for watching. 
please like and subscribe if you enjoy the contents of this video and if you want more Amazon tutorials and check out the full article on how to make money on your blog with Amazon Associates because if not you are really losing out on an opportunity.